you see the angle of the knife at that 45 degree angle again? As we go around the root in. What degree was that um, pairing knife at? 45. 45. Now, at this point, I could do something called concuse. Concuse, C O N C E S E, accent Q. Concuse um, is a technique that we use to take the skins off of all kinds of things. Mm. So at this point, I could make a small X here. That's your pairing knife. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to plunge this into boiling water mm. for about 30 seconds. I'm going to take it out, throw it into the ice bath, take it out of the ice bath, and this is all going to peel. Nice. Boiling water, you said? Mm -hmm. 30 seconds. The peel, the peel is literally going to start to come up. Right. And then it'll be very easy okay, to peel. I mean, I can feel anything like that. I can feel apples like that. I can feel peaches like that. I can feel and grapes like that. Off, I'm sorry, for right, ice bath. Until the until it's full, until the heat is gone, until the cooking process is stopped. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm. okay, now that I've poured it, say I'm not going to compensate it. Let's say that I'm going to um, cut this into a dice. So here's what's left, right? This is your tomato, all right? The tomato, and it looks all like hairless or something, you know? Hairless. <laughs> but so say we're prepping this for like a niçoise salad or something, huh? Uh, and we need to dice this. This is the way that we dice it. <laughs> Obviously, this is a very um, a specific thing that you would do for a banquet. Or for you know maybe a plate if you really have that kind of time, or maybe a, a fruit platter, or vegetable platter, or something like that, right? So these are all garmage day skills. Um, but you know, like say if you're making a fresh tomato sauce and you had 40 tomatoes, you would conk a sail, boom, right. boom, 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 peel them off. You know what I mean? Because you don't want that skin in your sauce. You know, right. because it's never going to cook. It's just going to roll up and you know, nasty, right? Okay, so we'll cut this in half. So. And then we'll go ahead and cut it in quarters. Now these are called petals. Petals, like the petals, petals. of the flower. Um, and, you know, in France, you know, they'll go on about this thing. The petals. The petals. Cut it into the petals, right? Which is meaning that we just seed it. Check this out. So you see how I cut it in quarters? And now I've just taken my fingers, or you can take a little spoon. The spoon works really well, like a small spoon. And you cut that in, in oh, see how I just seeded that? 
And again, watch this. Just all comes out. And a lot of times, what you'll do is you'll just clean it like so, and you'll you'll take out this center. So you see what happens? We've made like a petal. You know, so this is like the petal that they're talking about. Right. We'll just go ahead and take this out. <laughs> because for a lot of dishes, you don't want the water that's in the tomato. Mm -hmm. You know, like, for instance, once you get to a certain level and you're making a salad, you know, like if you do like a cream based dressing, mm -hmm. you know, anything that has a cream in it, um, any kind of dairy, you'll get water and dairy mixed. Yeah. on the bottom of the salad, yeah. inevitably, right? Yeah. right? It starts to break down and you get that watery, milky kind of stuff on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Or any of your emulsifications, really, they get watered, right? When you try to dress a big salad or if a salad's been sitting for a little bit too long. Right? At a certain level, you don't, you know, this is the kind of tomato that you use. You just use the fruit of the tomato. You take the seeds and all that water out. Because you know where all that water's coming from? The tomatoes that are just like cut up. Oh, thanks for tomatoes. Yeah, it's full of water. That's great for like, you know, pico de gallo, but not for, you know, a salad. <laughs> okay? Okay. So, this like so we get the seeds, and there's our pebbles. Now, again, like I told you, we do everything like a production line. So if I had 20 tomatoes, I would do them all like that first. Boom, 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 boom. And now we'll go ahead and cut our dice. Whatever size is requested of you. It's just like doing the peppers now, basically. Mm. And do your small dice. Or let's say you're doing a more rustic salad and you want, you know, a large dice. There's your large dice. Um, okay, let's do garlic fabrication and citrus. Nice. All right, really important stuff here. Give it a crack. Pops open. So that's a head of garlic. Here comes the cloves. Smash it down with the knife. Mm -hmm. with, the with the with the flat side of the knife. <laughs> okay. Now, once it's in this form, we're gonna take the knife. Watch. Just a little crap. Okay. Don't smash it to smithereens. Just wait for the crap. So we can peel it. Right. So now it just popped that open. Can you see this? This is going to come right off. If I hadn't done that, that would be really tight and I would be playing with it forever. And still sometimes that happens, but this helps a lot.
stand it up. You're going to take off the top quarter. Take a square of oil. A little bit of kosher salt and extra virgin olive oil. So we're just going to drizzle a little bit. Look at that. And sprinkle with the kosher. And then we're just going to fold it up into a packet. Now, you know what's important is that you leave space. you got to leave air in there. You can't smash it right down on the top or it'll burn. Okay? So you're making like a pouch and you're leaving an air pocket up above it. You have to close it tightly to make sure that there's space up there, up here in the top. You can prepare that. Um, you're going to put it in the oven for about 40 minutes at 375. It's good. So 40 minutes, 375, and your whole house, the whole kitchen, wherever you're at, whether you're at, on an event catering, whether you're at the restaurant, you want to get, get it going, the whole place is going to smell like this amazing roasted garlic. When you roast garlic, just gets the sweetness and the, the, the flavor completely changes. When it's done, you pull it out, let it cool. This will all be like a golden brown. And you're, you'll be able to take it and simply squeeze it. So just squeeze it like this, and because we've opened it up like that, all of them will shoot out like a paste. It'll literally be like toothpaste. Now just squeeze right out. That is the way to put garlic in your sauces, in your bisques, in your soups. Hot. I mean, you use that roasted garlic to put it in your vinaigrettes, it doesn't matter. It's already in that paste form, so it's going to mix and emulsify so easily with whatever you're making. And that flavor feel that's, that's the nicest garlic flavor I've ever heard, I've ever tasted. And that's it. So I do that all the time. I just have some of this prep. You know, I roast it off, right, and I've got, you know, 15, 20 of these. And because I know, I'm like, huh, if that means a little garlic, what am I going to do? Mince up some garlic, then saute it, then put it in, then let it cook all together for a long time, or I can just have a little bit of this. Give it a little squeeze, right into the sauce, make these things. In the refrigerator, I have four days. Three, four days. You know, if you put it in a little jar, if you put it in a little jar and you, um, yeah, leave it in the refrigerator, I think you're good for three, four days before it starts getting a little funky. You know, it'll start like leaching out like a lot of liquid and stuff. It's a little weird. Okay. Um, nobody likes a big honking piece of garlic. I just had somebody come and complain today that they got a really big piece of garlic in there. Um, in their uh, dish, and they didn't like it. You know, like, I mean, so don't leave any big chunks. Like, I mean, that would be like, wow, that's pretty strong. Okay. So, when you're going to slice it, you're going to slice it very thin. If you want to get it really thin, you can use it like a razor blade. Okay. That's pretty good. If you can see light through it, you know, you're good to go with that. The rule with garlic is that you always add it halfway through the cooking process. So, like, if you're sautéing, you want to add it halfway through. Because if you add it at the beginning with your peppers and your onions, right, it's going to burn. No doubt, right? So you always add it halfway or toward the end of the cooking, you know? Because it only needs a couple minutes just to kind of get it loose, you know what I mean? It's just like it's in the oil and the heat, it's just like, how can it happen, you know? 
So let's break this down. Let me show you what mincing is. Mincing, you know, there is actually a specific thing that qualifies as a mint. So you run your blade through and you collect. Run your blade through and collect. When is something minced? When they start to stick together. So many times people will over mince stuff or over um, pulse it in the uh, food processor. And what you're doing is you're losing all of your liquid when you over chop it. your mints. And you see how it all kind of sticks together like that? But you can still see all the individual pieces. That's mints. Even more than that, and again, you're going to start to get a lot of liquid.